Happy Halloween, all you ghouls and fools. Stella here, filling in for NARS, and on today's Daily Fix, we have a pair of Microsoft stories. One about Call of Duty that might make PlayStation players happy, and the other about Xbox's first party drought. And we have three new Marvel games coming from EA. Let's get to it. Call of Duty Modern Warfare 2 just hit consoles and PC last week, and not so surprisingly, it's selling really well on PlayStation. Sony tweeted a congratulations to developer Infinity Ward and publisher Activision, saying this new version of Modern Warfare 2 was, quote, the biggest PlayStation Store launch for a Call of Duty game, including pre-orders and day one sales. This is also great news for Microsoft as it looks to complete its acquisition of Call of Duty publisher Activision Blizzard. On the YouTube channel Same Brain with Justine and Jenna Ezerick, Xbox head Phil Spencer addressed concerns about Microsoft owning one of the biggest publishers in the industry and what that means for Call of Duty. Spencer said, quote, Yeah, so we're that's... not taking Call of Duty from PlayStation. That's not our intent. Our intent is not to do that. And as long as there's a PlayStation out there to ship to, our intent is that we continue to ship Call of Duty on PlayStation, similar to what we've done with Minecraft since we've owned that. If you didn't know, Minecraft's been owned by Microsoft for years, and they've only expanded access to the game, releasing it on practically every platform available, including Nintendo Switch, PlayStation 4, Fire OS, Raspberry Pi, Apple TV, your 35-year-old Casio calculator watch you probably found at a drug drawer somewhere. You get the idea. Microsoft hasn't walled off Minecraft behind Xbox, and Call of Duty makes too much money to keep that exclusive either. The only advantage Xbox gamers will likely have is future Call of Duty games will probably be included in Game Pass, and maybe get exclusive DLC, whereas PS5 owners will have to fork over 70 bucks. So relax. For now, PlayStation fans, you'll be able to play Call of Duty on your favorite platform for the foreseeable future. And staying with Microsoft for a second story, Phil Spencer did admit there's been a bit of a drought for exclusive first-party games for Xbox Series X and S. On the same episode of Same Brain, Spencer was asked what he's most looking forward to regarding the future of Xbox. He replied it was all the great things their first-party studios are working on, but some feedback he got was, quote, One thing we've definitely heard loud and clear is it's been too long since we've shipped kind of what people would say is a big first-party game. We can have our excuses on COVID and other things, but in the end, I know people invest in our platform and they want to have great games. Microsoft's purchase of Bethesda may be bearing fruit soon as the publisher will be launching the first-person vampire shooter Redfall and the highly anticipated Skyrim and Space RPG Starfield next year. Both of those will be console exclusive to the Xbox Series X and S. Speaking of mega publishers, Electronic Arts just inked a three-game deal with Marvel. Via Bloomberg, the deal will begin with a previously announced Iron Man game from EA Motive. The other two games will feature their own original stories, but other details are thin, like what characters will be featured or if there's any connection to the Iron Man game. We'll have more on those games as news breaks, so stay tuned. And that's your daily fix for today, October 31st. Before you go gorging on candy all day, check out IGN.com slash rewards, which is now live and it's free for everyone. Signing up gets you more than 20 perks and discounts that gamers will actually care about, like discounts on Humble Bundle games, the IGN store, and Dream Gear accessories. There will be new stuff every week. Also, if you become an IGN Plus subscriber, you get free games and in-game content, including a free Map Genie Plus subscription, which Map Genie makes cool interactive game maps like this one for God of War. You would also be helping to support IGN shows like this one. As a special launch promotion, IGN Plus is just $29.99 a year for a limited time. That's just $2.50 a month. Happy Halloween, stay safe if you're trick-or-treating, and if you've got a great gaming-themed costume this year, tweet at us on your social media platform of choice. I'm Stella, and I'll catch you later.